then if you cut a lemon, it stings. Don't do it. All right. Anyways, this is, hi, Julia. She got groomed today. Doesn't she look amazing? She smells good too. They put this like refreshing, I don't know, deodorizing powder on her. I don't know if it's the shampoo or what it is, but it smells nice. Anyway, I have a team you haul. Now I did show the items on my live stream last night. You can check that out. Um, but the clothing, I did say I would come back and do a um, try on haul. So that's what I'm here to do. So I just have some underclothing on right now so I can put, you know, try on the clothes for you guys. Um, I did get this really cute phone case, but it's like already greasy. <laughs> like It's black and like plastic. So it has like, I don't know, but it's pretty cool because it comes with like a how is it greasy already? Were you eating chicken stains again last night? Chicken skins and touching all your Timu shit. How in the hell? It's not even on her phone yet. It's greasy. Ugh. Whitlow, thank you for the super chat. You might be right. The living room is her room and the bedroom is his. It could be. Because it's like she never leaves that room and all the supplies she needs and everything. It's all in that room. You definitely could be right. Nee Marie, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Just getting here watching while getting ready to go see my cousin play in the Philharmonic. Oh, that is awesome, girl. Have a great night. A built-in pop socket. And I got these sunglasses, which I think are pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah. No, they're not. <laughs> oh, my God. And a fake nose ring. Yes. From Timu. Actually, it's pretty comfortable. Like, I got it to fit right. And, yeah. So, I can take it out whenever it annoys me. It's not permanent. That's what I like about it. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, yeah. I'm it's a very weird thing to say from somebody who had their nose pierced. That the selling feature of this is that it's not permanent. Very weird. Pharaoh girl, thank you again for the super chat. I think he left her and she's manic AF. Is that this vibe? Because this one too, my, my heart's racing. Just like it was in that stream. It's the same thing. Hmm. And the, the THC angries have not kicked in yet. I wait for that. The glasses are cute, not bad for like under 10 bucks. It comes with like a pouch and um, a glass cleaner and it comes in this cute box. So anyways, um, I, I'm trying to place another team in order for some more things. I would like to get some home goods this time. Um, but God, she's such an idiot. Everybody now, like listening to the all the warnings of like, don't bring Timu shit into your home like that. Don't wear well, wear Timu shit. D toxic. I'm not going on my whole thing about the Uyghurs, okay? But you you all already know. Beyond all that, their shit is highly toxic. Everybody's now is like being warned not to use that shit, not to bring in that shit. I'm not saying they're the only ones. I'm just saying we're all hearing that about Timu. No. Buy more Timu shit. Get more Timu shit that sits on your face. Buy home Timu goods. Is that just, just, just huff paint at this point? Fuck, man. It like there's so many things on Timu that I just feel lost when I'm there, and I just get like overstimulated and just like, what am I gonna get? I need to get everything. So yeah, what what ends up being supposedly a cheap Timu haul ends up being more expensive because of that. Anyways, all right. So I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, really? Oh, how much could that Timu hollow shit that she showed us have been, have costed? Like at most 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Those, the, the outfits are like $7.99. And so, you know what I mean? The glasses are probably what? $1.99, $2.99 at most. How much could she have paid? It's, it can't be more than 50 bucks. So what the hell are you talking about that? It adds up, but it gets expensive. Girl, you, you I don't know what to say. If if you're fucking hauls at fifty dollars from some fucking forced labor shit company is all you got, maybe maybe don't do the hauls. If you're getting that overstimulated on the Timu website, uh, picking out the crap, that's like your addictions shining through. You know what I mean? It's it's sad and hilarious. Don Barn, thank you for the super chat. Uh, are we going to watch the live from an hour ago? Absolutely not. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, but eating? No, nah, we'll, we'll skip that one. But again, her name is Foodie Beauty. Everybody who wants to watch that in the chat, you know how to find her channel? Knock yourselves out. I'm not down. It's too early in the week still. Oh. Guys, these shirts, and I'm going to try them on. Cat lit, lint everywhere because my cat's been stuck to me like glue. Let me lift you guys up. Since... I've been home from Thailand. Yeah. So I just spent like over a month in Bangkok and 
pets do miss their owners when they go away. This is a fact. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, so the first shirt I got was this white white t-shirt. Um, I don't have like just a plain t-shirt, but um, I wanted to get one so that um, I could, you know, wear it with my elephant pants in Thailand. But my teammate order got here after I left, unfortunately. But since it's short sleeve, I'll wear this shirt under it. So let's um, try this first shirt on here. And this is a 5X, I believe. So let's go try it on. Yella. All right, you guys. Here we go. We Fucking yikes. You bought that shirt to wear in Thailand with your elephant pants. First of all, where are the elephant pants? Did she shit herself so bad in one of the in the elephant pants that she had to throw them out? We didn't see much of those on the trip. We saw them at the beginning of the trip and then the poof, they were gone. I think she shitted them and destroyed them. Uh what the hell is this shirt? What is what is this? 5X, look how tight it is around her gunt, first of all. Second of all, is this how she planned on wearing it? With that thing under it? Like, horrible choice of clothes. Like, I, I don't understand how she sees this. You saw this on Timu as you were going around. You're like, yeah, that's the one. It looks like shit. Yulia, that beach. Thank you for the super chat. Another clue she could be on something. She was on live for a good while, but wasn't jonesing for food. Ooh, you're right. And talking about how she has no appetite. And stuff. When does that happen? We have a basic white t-shirt like that. So this will be good just to wear out or with the elephant pants next time I go to Bangkok. But yeah, so this is. What do you mean that's good to wear out? That's not good to wear out. You wear that out. You can't just wear out a t-shirt while you're cosplaying. You have to, that immediately means there's like layers. So you're going to save the layers for the heat of Thailand again. What's the matter with you? Wear that out. Get the hell out of here. That's an ugly pajama. Mean Jean, thank you for the super chat. Feral Panda, I like that. This is just uh, shirt number one. It's a comfortable basic white t-shirt. Um, somebody messy like me probably shouldn't be wearing white too often, but I like the little scrunchy detail here anyways. But yeah. Get the hell out of here. Get the fuck. You see that neckline and you're like, ooh, I like this. I'm looking at that neckline trying to make it make sense. Who would make a shirt like that? And who would see that shirt and be like, ooh, damn, that's good looking. Hideous, Chantal. Zero out of 10. Fondue Cruz, thank you for the super chat. It's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Ah. And uh, so that's number one. And don't forget, please let me know in the comments. Oh, you. I can't look at me. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> please let me know in the comments your favorites, any suggestions, things like that. All right. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm not going in your comments, but I'll give you a fucking suggestion right here. Stop buying these shits off of Timu. You know what they look like when you buy clothes off of Timu? They look like you bought clothes off of Timu. Okay. A $7.99 t-shirt, a $7.99 dress is always going to look like your piece of shit $7.99 dress. Chantal, you can't pull these things off. You have no sense of style to take something that God awfully badly made and turn it into some kind of an actual outfit. You look like a fucking joke. And then you put the Timu shit on. <laughs> All right, here's blouse number two. So yeah, I was actually excited to try this one because I thought, you know, um, I like the color. When you have cool skin tones, darker winter colors, whatever, they look good on, better on you. So weren't we just talking about that two days ago in this chat? I've never heard her talk about a cool or warm skin tone ever. We literally just did. Coincidence? Possibly. I don't fucking think so. Um, okay, that frock is definitely better than the white t-shirt. I would give this maybe like a 2 out of 10. It's still fucking hideous. Hideous. But better than the t-shirt was. Liberius, thank you for the super chat. English breakfast sausage aesthetic. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I um really like it. It's cinched in here, so it gives me a little bit of shape. Um, Whatever that shape is. I it's not giving you shape. And why are you worried about things giving you a shape? <laughs> You're supposed to be all modest, right? You should be trying to avoid showing off your shape. That's sort of the whole point. The, okay, I will give this one point that I didn't notice till she kind of shimmied a little. It covers her guns 
multiple, and ass. So points for that. Three out of ten. I don't know, but <laughs> it's um, it's comfy. It's 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 a bit stretchy. Like I can't describe it, but it it's really cool. It's modest, and it's really nice. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah, so this is sure. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hold on. She, it, I get the same vibe. I was just thinking in my head. I think we're gonna see this outfit a lot. This this one specifically. She likes this one. Blech. Dress, whatever. Number two. Okay, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I think it's a bit tight. It's um, it's got little pockets. But yeah, it's it's. She said she 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 just said a bit tight. I can see her liver. I can see her liver. I can see the the like waistband of her pants and how high she's wearing them. Good God. It's a little form fitting, so. No, no, pull it, pull the fucking material. Oh my God, I hate this so much. I know, I always harp on this in the halls, but you're wearing a sausage casing, you fat fuck. You really think pulling at the, at the sides of it is gonna multiply the material? If that's a 5X, you need a 15 fucking X. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I don't think it's very flattering for my figure. Oh my God. Um, what figure? So either I'm going to return it or uh, maybe just wait till you know I lose some weight. I don't know. Oh, no. It's very. <laughs> We're not still playing that game, are we? With Timu clothes? I'll keep it just in case because it was so expensive. I won't return it, but I don't, I don't want to throw it away. $7.99, bitch. Burn that piece of shit. Go down to the beach, find a boat, and be like, hey, do you need a new sail? Here, I got this hideous cat thing. Bless. Come on, then. Maybe I'll keep it for when I lose it. Look at how ugly that fucking thing is. Even if she was a skinny, that would be ugly. Even if it fit her, that would be ugly. That is so ugly. Disco Jam Lord, thank you for the super chat. We live a body con a moment. Not body con a -baya, But like... Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, thank you. I know. I don't understand. I, I genuinely saw some people on Twitter being like, oh, that one's cute. Oh, I would buy that. Like, that, um, ooh, that cat one. That, like, I hate everything Chantal buys, but that cat one though. And I, I was like, blink, blink, like slow blink. Couldn't believe what I was reading. I'm judging. Look at it. Look at it. Avoid her shape and whatever or lack thereof. Look at that. What the fuck? Straight down. And shirts like this, I don't think typically flatter my figure, but um, I thought the cats were cute and I don't know. Um, all the clothes, by the way, are 5X that I have, including this one. So see, it just depends on the style of the shirt and it also depends on the, the make, the material and stuff. So I'm going to give this one a thumbs down. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's the piece de resistance. Hold on. I have been waiting all day to see this. Oh, picture it. The attempted B&E. She goes huffing and puffing down those stairs. Why isn't he paying attention to me? Why isn't it me? And she's got that stupid outfit pulled up over her chins. Well, fast forward a couple of years and here we are. Same outfit, different ch uh, chin cover, but same chins in that chin cover, isn't it? And I mean Chantal, not just her chins. This bitch will never change. Is this some kind of like a signal to Koki? Is this some long distance like signal? Hey, I'm still crazy under here. <laughs> Don't be fooled, Mama Abaya. It's still full of crazy. And the crazy could come out. All it takes is one call. I'll be in this outfit hitting that purple mattress. In what, 12 hours it takes her to fly back? Maybe this is a signal. I don't know. You can't tell me she wasn't thinking of that when she bought this outfit. Uh, <laughs> Annie de la Cruz, can you? All right. Bees on my bees, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Patrick Duffy, boy, thank you for the super chat. Chantal, the polyester nightmare. Like, she's so flammable right now. And when you're full of fat, she would be like one of those old-fashioned torchy things. If she ever went up in flame, you couldn't, like, douse that fire out. It will burn like that town in Philadelphia until the end of time. 
not Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I forget what the hell it's called. You know that town that's like on fire and been on fire on fire forever, and they're just not putting out the fire. That would be her if she ever, you know, one of these frocks caught flames. Okay, so here's the next one. Um, I'm going to show you up close the neck. It's like a turtleneck. Now this very may well be possibly um, manufactured by the same person who did the the same person, the same company who did the blue dress because um, it's the same type of material and it fits similar way. So yeah, long sleeve, very modest, very cutesy, very demure. I had to put that in there. And yeah, this is... Uh, First of all, first of all, Miss Demure and QC and Modest, I can see your ankles. That is highly ham. Cover that shit up. Nobody needs to see that. Monkey's paw. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Jazz cat's poster. It would. Like 30 years ago. You know what I mean? Definitely. Um, I have no commentary about this one. This one just hits me in the crazy place. This is 100% bringing my mind back to Kraken Olympics. All I can picture is the night of the attempted B&E. And every time she wears this outfit, I'm sure it's not just me. Everybody's going to be thinking of that. Koki's going to be thinking of that. She's fucking thinking of that. Everybody. Liberius, thank you again for Super Chat. Good Lord, the Puma Cougar prints are back. Woo! We've hit the crazy place. This is a crazy place. I used to say this in real time when we were reacting in crack at Olympics and stuff. When she would bust out the animal prints, you know we were going to have a good day. You know we were it, something crazy was going to happen. She gets this cocky, bitchy, fearless attitude in an animal print. And it, it used to be a lot of fun for us. Inshallah, we still have good times with it. Although, uh, I don't know how crazy she can get in Kuwait. This is like a... I don't know, cheetah print, but there's blue. So it's like if a cheetah made it with a Smurf. I have no idea. It's blue raspberry cheetah, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, this is the the next one here. Now, I actually really, really, really like this dress. I like, I don't know if it's a dress or a shirt or what. It's like a long shirt thing for me. I always wear pants under. So it's actually um, really cozy and it's actually lightweight. And, you know, I won't have to be so hot going out in these clothes. So... Um, I actually really like the modest tops that they have on, at Timu and they're affordable. And like I said, um, you know, they have my size for a lot of things. So that's why I shop there mostly. But um, Tacky Cruella DeVille. I love that. Cherry Blossom Mocha. Thank you for the super chat. Yes. Yes. I, I can't remember what I used to say when she in Crackhead Olympics vibe. Like she was fat Carla, not Carla Mocha. <laughs> Fat Carmela Soprano, I used to call her. This is uh, like Cornwall Carmela. You know what I mean? Super fucking broke. Uh, but a cocky attitude for no reason. Cornty. I really like this dress. So this one and the blue one are my favorite so far. All right, this last shirt is a little snug. It's not going to do up comfortably, I can tell. Um, yeah, it's a bit snug. So again, it just depends. A bit snug means she probably tried to put it on already and close it and she busted a couple of the, the buttons right off. They went in like pew, like projectiles and broke some shit. And it's not a shirt um, that's supposed to be a dress. Why would she buy 5X? I, I just, why? Why also would you buy that? What the hell is that pattern even? Oh, they're little flowers. It looks like a smock to paint. You know, like you put it onto paint so you don't like fuck up your clothes. It's giving smock for real. Miss Movie Buff, thank you again for Super Chat. None of them fit. Just need to buy tarps and be done with it. And the filters are working overtime. Yeah, the filter when she turns sideways in that, uh, you know, B and E monstrosity. Uh, did you notice the the back boobs were not present? Where the back boobs go? The filters didn't know what to do, so they're just like fuck this, and they gave up. Depends on the make and material. Actually, it's okay because I actually really don't like this shirt. <laughs> I don't like the style. Um, I don't like really the design is like so cheap and worn out looking. Um, Just like you. <laughs> I bet she loves that hideous thing because every time I hate something, she really, really loves it. She loves it and she's pissed off. To, I can't even close it. They told me this was 5X. This is clearly a medium. <laughs> I'll show you what I what I mean. Okay, so if you look at the material, or if you look at the designs, 
they're just like I don't know. It looks like it was like cheaply printed. Maybe it's honestly, it's no more hideous than any of the other patterns she wears. In my opinion, what makes this one look so shitty? Every pattern you wear is shitty. This one's just different because it doesn't close on you. Hmm. Moss Society, thank you again for Super Chat. Did the Timu sizes even go higher than 5X? I have no idea. I have never shopped on Timu. And I wouldn't shop on Timu. I kept getting these fucking emails, Timu, to sponsor a video on this channel. And I kept ignoring, ignoring. And they kept coming. And I literally, literally told them to fuck off. <laughs> anyway, I went in my whole Uyghur, like, shtick in the email, and I never heard back from them again. So, that worked. Ah, Chantal's proof of leg. Thank you again for the super chat. Carmel Corn Carla. Hmm? It's, like, in person it looks different, but I don't like the shirt. I don't like it. It looks really good on the model, and then, you know, I'm not the model, so. Yeah, no shit. How much you want to bet? When she sees these frocks on Timu, she's literally so Delulu because we know how Delulu she is about her own weight, her own body, th the way it looks and stuff. She thinks, oh yeah, that looks like me. That's exactly what I'm going to look like when I wear it. I'm not the model, so I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm going to see. Maybe I'll return the two shirts, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think there's a time limit on returns, so I don't even know if I'll be able to. <laughs> but anyway... Um, yeah, I guess that's about it for the clothing. Um, that's all I got to try on. So I guess the, the main thing is those two nice shirts. Uh, you know, they're really nice. Maybe I can check out on Timu, the company that makes them and order more styles from that because that's the style, you know, I'm going for. I like it. I like something long, like when, for clothing, what I'm going for, something modest. So something that, you know, clothing that covers everything, you know, except my hands, face and feet. Um, something that's, true to size that fits my size usually around 5x and also nope your size is not 5x you need to accept reality what you say fits you is always too tight and that was one thing when you were just you know chantal chantal but now with your cosplay that shit doesn't fly anymore talking about the or implying even that you're following this religion but every single item of clothing you buy is so tight on you and like you were talking about before accentuating your shape and things you're actually supposed to be downplaying your shape and you know that so like what is it skin tight clothes or the fucking hijab it, you are a walking moron oh sorry i meant oxymoron oh sorry i meant moron actually both uh sloan thank you again for the super chat could also be because the model is not wearing a scuba suit underneath um Something long that covers everything too. I don't like like the bottom, like my, my the bottom of my belly showing or stuff like that. I like everything covered. I like like my behind fully covered, everything covered. So um yeah, so everything has to be covered. So those those dresses and they're stylish and they tick off all the boxes I like. So I'll be keeping those shirts and the white t-shirt. You can't go wrong with a plain white t-shirt. It's very versatile. So yeah, so all right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did um, enjoy showing you guys. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this haul. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.